Hello, lazy boys and girls. Welcome to another episode of the Lazy Boy Adventures. This is just a quick little topic. I'm actually at work right now. I'm see my nice pretty shirt here is my work shirt cruising around in my work truck but I had to bring this up to everybody because uh, it's pretty important and a lot of people uh, might fall victim to catfish on the internet they like to pretend to be somebody they're not they like to pretend to be uh the opposite sex of you and interested in you in some form or fashion they are looking ultimately to gain from you whether it be financial compensation uh you know material compensation cell phones gift cards you know or just straight cash even you know just because if they are poor and are willing to take anything that they can get and when I say anything I literally mean anything if you send them five bucks they will gladly take five bucks okay now I'm not saying that these people aren't hurting and actually might need help but the way they go about it tricking and lying and 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 just being all around deceitful I had to bring this up on how to bust a catfish so I figured out a real simple method to get these fuckers out of your Instagram DMs or Facebook messages or off your timelines or whatever. Because sometimes they can be a little hard to weed out. You know, a lot of times they'll follow you and they'll lay back and just watch, you know, and you won't even have any clue who they are. Because, come on, let's face it, we all have social media. We have random followers. We're not selective of who follows us. Unless you have your account set to private, which then what's the point of having social media if you're not going to be online? So, we all have unknown followers. And, and even go so far as to say people that we follow that we still don't know who they are. And we act like we do. <laughs> You know, we act like we're internet friends and whatever, but the bottom reality of it is you don't know who any of these people are unless you physically have met them in person, face to face. And that's one reason why I keep my uh, Facebook primarily super limited uh, to like less than a hundred people. You know, I don't add friends on Facebook. I don't, no, nah, I don't, no, I just don't, right? The people on my Facebook, are important enough to stay on my Facebook because I commune commune with these people on a regular basis, family and 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 people I would actually consider friends. That even though yes, I haven't met some of them or most of them, but I have known them for several years on Facebook, so that warrants friendship in my book. So let me get to the point at hand here. So here, let me just give you a little. You, this is where I'm at, baby. My office is better than yours. Guaranteed fucking teed. I'll bet you any day of the week. Uh, unless it's raining. But even then, it's still bitching. Because I'm at the beach. Fuck you. So anyways, here's my point. Catfish. How to bust them. Lesson one. Look for the first flags. Usually, they'll have a name with some numbers attached to it because they're fake accounts so their name won't even be a legit name and you know usually like i said it'll just be a regular name and there'll be numbers after it or before it or whatever it'll just look suspicious from the gate and usually you can tell as well if you look on their profile you know there'll only be a handful of pictures you know uh usually less than 20 pictures and it'll be mostly selfies you know of the same person or even sometimes several people from what I've seen and uh the biggest dead giveaway is that they immediately slide into your dms and want to chat with you and they want to know personal information you know that could be anything like if they're you know what's your your relationship status 
and so on and so forth. They just try to warm you up to the fact that you might be gullible and and susceptible to their invitation for conversation and since you're thinking that it might be a girl or a guy that's actually interested in you you know then you might fall victim to giving them personal information that you shouldn't right even the smallest details should be kept off the line you know you shouldn't post anything on social media that you don't want the fucking world to know right i mean anything anything if there's anything you post on social media the world sees it period i don't care if you're incognito mode if you whatever people see it people screenshot it share it and before you know it you'll have you know your information all over the internet and that's a scary thought you know and to think that these people all kind of work together too that you know you might have two three hundred people in one room all sitting on computers trying to hustle people out of their money online on a daily basis in other countries and that's really not a joke that's how they make their money that's how they get stuff because they are so freaking poor in those countries that you know they literally can barely afford to eat so if you send them five ten bucks in american money you're you're giving them a lot of money you know in their country so anyways i'm rambling too much so anyways like i said name first name with numbers first red flag second red flag not too many pictures on the profile third red flag usually in their bio they'll post something like oh they're single or you know they're 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 happy caring almost looks like a dating profile if you will on some cheesy dating site right like they always put the dumbest fucking shit that's that just like makes no sense like normal people don't say shit like that like oh i'm a caring loving happy person like you're not applying for a job here right so that's the third one but the guaranteed kicker every single fucking time if you want to bust them out even if you carry conversations, because I do, I think it's fucking funny. I let them get all into it like I'm really going to buy into their bullshit. And then I hit them with the fucking selfie question, right? And this is the fucking golden ticket right here. If you don't trust somebody that you're in social media with, if they're asking for information and you want to know who they are before you give up anything, right? So what I always do is I, I ask for a selfie and I'll tell them, take us because you're in DM, so you can instant send pictures. You can even video chat, right? But they won't do that. So that's how you know that they're a fake account and they're full of shit, right? They won't video chat you and they won't fucking take a selfie. And what I do is I tell them to take a selfie with a piece of paper holding up my piece of paper with today's date and my name on it my screen name or whatever they see from my account that they followed right which is the lazy boy adventures so they should hold up a piece of paper that says hi lazy boy adventures today's date is uh you know august 4th 2021 okay and then you know the person that you're talking to is legit. That's who you're talking to, right? Because you can't Photoshop that. You can't really fake that on a whim and, you know, in just a couple minutes. And what I've learned also is that as soon as you ask for that picture, they get upset. They don't want to talk anymore. They start getting defensive and getting mad and, and talking shit, you cursing you out usually you know, at telling you you don't trust them and blah, well, fuck no, you don't trust them. They're full of shit, right? So there you go. Those are the red flags. Go quick summary. One, name with numbers in there. Two, not too many selfie pictures on their profile. They usually have a shit ton of people they're following and no followers or minimal followers, right? And they're fucking quick to slide into your dms and ask you for personal information and they're also quick to tell you that they're looking for a relationship and blah 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 and their bio it will have like dating profile type stuff and also last but not least 
their languages. Their English is usually not that great. So you shouldn't, uh, you, I mean, you should notice that, you know, maybe their English isn't exact, you know, like they say different things like am instead of I'll, you know, like I am, they'll say am, I am going here, I am looking for, am this, am that, and, and it's because the English that they're taught in their country, they don't use the different uh, pronouns or whatever like we do, I'm not, I'm not smart either, so... I uh, just know that the way that they talk is not how we talk as Americans, even though they have English knowledge. So there you go. This is already a 10 minute video. So I just wanted to say that about busting out catfish on the internet. It works every single time. Every time I've had these people fucking holler at me on DMs and I'll sit there for about five minutes and entertain them. And once they start asking me the harder questions, I ask them for the selfie. And every single time, it shuts them down. And I report them and I block them. And that's what you have to fucking do, right? Because otherwise, you might not get tricked, but the next person might, you know? And, and that's not cool at all because, you know, some of these people might have mental issues or whatever and, and not understand that people are out there to do harm and rob them of their money, you know? There's scammers out there trying to steal from you every single day, right? And social media is just an easy platform. You got millions of people at the touch of a finger that you can slide into their DMs and, and start, you know, with the fucking suave tongue, you know? And there's a lot of people that are victim of that every single day, every single week, every single month, and they lose tens of thousands of dollars, you know, behind it, and these people are just lying thieves, don't give them your money, don't give them your information, and ask for that selfie with the date and your name on it, and then you can decide whether you want to even talk to them, so... There you go. I hope this video gets viral because I never seen on how to deal with catfishes. But since I met one today that, you know, supposedly she liked bikers and blah, 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 blah. She was from fucking Florida. And, and, and all the signs were there. All the flags were there. And I'm telling them all this as we're conversing that I'm seeing all the red flags. And they're like, what flags? What are you talking about? I don't understand what you mean. And that uh, fucking sure is shit. I figured them out and I told you now how to figure them out. So go get them. Bust out these catfishes and let's make social media a little bit safer place so people don't get victimized by thieves. Deuces.